Okay, I'm uh, I'm on my marking off table at the moment, and uh, it's just a continuation. This is my magneto project, which I've shown you, um, of my coil rewinding. Uh, that were a nine a nine part series, if you like, showing you how I set my coil my mark to do coil winding, and progressively followed the project through until I'd until I'd eventually rewound the coil. So, I'm up to a stage now where I'm ready for building my magneto, but first of all, uh, this body of the magneto needs needs a few uh, cosmetic repairs doing. Now, I thought I'd just show you this, because uh, I'm going to use something I've never used before, and that's Q-Bond, if you can see that. Uh, now, before I decided to use that, I would... I was contemplating having it TIG welded. Uh, I'll just show it damage. It's, it's like cosmetic damage where it's been c got corroded away on, on just one part of the face of Magneto. So I was going to perhaps have somebody to TIG weld it, but then I didn't want to go to expense with that. Uh, and I then I decided, well, shall I use my Lumi weld? Which is, which is uh, quite a makes quite a good job on aluminium but I didn't want to really heat the old casting up because you've got to get this casting red hot to use that loomy weld uh, so I, I didn't really want to do that so I've, I've decided to leave that to one side for the moment and then uh, try this cube on now a friend of mine has already used this on a on an aluminium casting, and he, and he said it, it gave a good result, so this is what I'm proposing to do, uh, try and uh, Q-bond it, and what this is, it's an adhesive with, with a filling powder, you've probably seen it, I think it's pretty common now, but I've never used it, so I'm going to try it, so I'll get back to you, when I've degreased all my magneto, and, and uh, see how it turns out, Okay, uh, just a quick update. I've, I've used the Q-Bond on my Magneto. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. This bit here I've, I've just lightly filed down with, this, with a smooth file and a bit, of, a bit of emery cloth. This piece here I've just applied and that's still in its unfinished state. If you can see that. Now I've got to say... It, this Cuban, it sets in a matter of 10 seconds, and what I did, I just wafted it over with hot air gun, just to, just to finalise it, if you like. Uh, so, what I'm going to do now, I'll, well, I'll just show you how to apply this. It's pretty straightforward, on instructions. Um, you put a bit of powder on, into the part you want to repair, just... Lightly dab a bit of powder on, and what I did, I used this uh, sheet of paper just to catch any surplus, so I could pour it back into this, into this little bottle. And then you get your cube on adhesive, and you just, without touching the nozzle on the, um, on the powder, you just put a drop on, and it, it just spreads all through the powder, sets it, and it's rock solid in within seconds and then if you've got a big uh, bit if, if your damage is quite deep what you would do you, you you apply one layer then apply another layer of powder then a bit more lock, um, of the adhesive nearly called it Loctite but it's not Loctite and then just build it up and like on this edge here it would damage right on the corner I just put a little bit of tape there, put the powder on, and then uh, put the adhesive on, and then it, it brought that square edge back. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to set this up in my Harrison lathe, uh, and I'm just going to take a light skim across here, just to just to true everything up, and take that, that bit off there that I've not actually filed yet just to see how it machines. So, 
I'll catch you over at Harrison Lathe. Where I've just got to go and sort my lathe out. I'll catch you over there then. OK, I'm over on my Harrison Lathe now. I've set the magneto up and I'm just taking a very light skim across the face. Uh, I'm having to hold the camera because my, my, uh, my camera stand won't reach this far. So I'm just giving you a quick update on where I am. Uh, I'll stop the lathe in a minute and we'll have a look at what sort of finish it did. Right then, I've took, a, I've took the slightest, slightest of skims up the face, just a, a couple of thou, and took all the eye spots off, and I, I don't know if you can see on the video, it's come up it's come up quite good really, it's filled all the all the uh, corrosion in, it's just showing up a different, a slightly different colour than aluminium, so I think that might, uh, I think that might be okay that, I'll take out the lathe in a minute and, uh, and we'll have another look, uh, just be careful when you're setting it up in lathe though, make sure you put some uh, copper strips under aluminium because round this round this area where we're gripping it's it's a bit fragile so don't go and uh, don't go and squash the casting whatever you do so uh, I don't think I'm going to take anymore I've only took a couple of thou off off that phase um, yeah okay see you back over at Marking off table. Okay, then I'm, I'm back on my marking off table now. I've took the uh, magneto out out my lathe. Uh, I know I didn't show you too much what were happening in the lathe, but it, 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 weren't, it wasn't going to be a, a lathe exercise, really. It was just to show you that I'd put it in lathe and, and, and I was taking this across this filler. Now, I don't know if you can see that, it it, do, it is a different colour to aluminium, obviously, um, I'm not going to get that to match up, but uh, I've took a couple of thou off this face and trued everything up and cut the filler and it's it's now given a nice flat, we're back to a nice flat face in all, in all the areas, if you can see that, I don't know if you can see that on video very well so that's it then uh, we're back to a flat face now with, with damage took away now this bit here where the label fits on the magneto I will just have to keep that hole out where a bit of filler's crept into edge of the hole if you can see that and then uh, I think that's going to be okay then I mean, there's this 60-year-old. This, there's there's dings and marks all over the place, really. So I don't want to be too critical, but yeah, I'm happy with that. I save welding it anyway. So I think what I'm going to do now, I'm going to um, just clean all the holes up and tap tap all the holes out where the uh, brushes go and where the um, screws go for the safety gap. Uh, take this seal out because I've got a new seal to go in and then put some new bearings in and then uh, make a start on building it up. So that, that'll be my next that'll be my next step. So uh, yeah, I think that's okay. Now, this is just a continuation from my previous nine videos on how I made a coil winder for my armature, if you've not seen them. Uh, yeah, take a look at them if, uh, if it's something that interests you. So, I'll sign off for now then and uh, I'll update you on this project. Bye for now then.